Hey YouTube friends and subscribers, it is me, Narb, here with the Capture the Flag map. And this one is called Interchange by Lee C. G. And he has made a very nice Capture the Flag big team sort of map on the map Impact. And this map is really cool, I do enjoy a lot of it. There is a lot of cool features to this map. I like the vehicle gameplay with this. It's mostly just warhogs and rocket hogs and he's also done a very nice job with the layout of this map uh, a picture of it is right here as you can see it's very symmetrical each side uh, in each corner that is where the flags are and the vehicles can move around in the kind of slanted figure eight kind of area and then in between those black boxes is where most of the infantry can uh, move around so that they can avoid the vehicles but I do really enjoy this map a whole lot it looks very nice but there were a few areas where I think he could have forged a little bit better on uh, for example this bridge right here um, it seemed to have not been able to work with vehicles but yet it did um, it's kind of hard to explain because it, it just feels kind of weird it's kind of skinny and I found myself getting stuck on it quite a bit because uh, of the Dominion railings on the sides just for vehicles. I wish he just would have used some normal 4x4 short blocks for the bridge. I think that would have looked a lot nicer as well. But it still works and it's kind of good for infantry if you just want to pop down real quick. There's a gap in the middle. but. Uh, there were a few areas, uh, I think on the side buildings, like this green one and the yellow one. Uh, a few pieces may have been forged a little bit sloppily. This goes out for the entire map as well. Uh, he may have put some building pieces, like a room triple, in for uh, some places. Usually you don't want to do that. That's shown as sloppiness because it's already pre-built. But he didn't exactly just put it down and say, that was a room. He he kind of submerged it, but I still don't really like it when people do that. But uh, I do realize that Slayer is not really all about aesthetics. It's mostly uh, all about gameplay, and this map does very well on that. I think it's very good. You should probably play it with people that you know uh, can do a pretty good job at with uh, Capture the Flag. Uh, have somebody guard your base and then they can make flag runs with your warhog and things like that and you're probably going to want to play it with 4v4 and I'm pretty sure you can go a little bit higher I think you could get away with uh, maybe some 5v5 6v6 if you go a little bit higher uh, 8v8 you might get some frame rate but I hope you all enjoyed this map go ahead in the description below and you can download it there will be a link there and go ahead and play it. I hope you all have a very nice day and I'll see you later.